Hey, Speed Demons, I've got eight Humdinger keyboard shortcuts for you, which are really the best 10% of a recent shortcuts post I just pulled together, which is all about getting you hooked on your keyboard and getting you to happy hour. Now, the shortcuts in this video are not your 101 keyboard shortcuts. That's why I'm calling them Humdingers. And I'm going to give you some extra tips and some strategy points along the way on how to use these in your presentation, which is really the key to being fast and efficient at PowerPoint. And this is really all about what I call getting rid of office clickets, which is that sound you hear as people are clicking their way and you probably hear this all the time at the office and if you want to join me on this journey just make sure you subscribe to my youtube channel to make sure you don't miss any of these getting hooked on your keyboard shortcut videos if you just want a cheat sheet of these different shortcuts just look for the links directly beneath these videos shortcuts like these are your secret to crumpling up your everyday tasks exploding your productivity it really is the fast way to double your productivity here in powerpoint especially when you can learn a single shortcut like the presenter's life wrap and nail down 32 different keyboard shortcuts, which is humdinger number eight that you're gonna learn in this video. All you need to do is be in the right view. With that, let's talk about humdinger number one, the paste special shortcut, which is control alt V. This gives you a lot of picture options for your presentation, but it also is a great way to break up PowerPoint charts and PowerPoint tables. And let me show you what I mean. Here in PowerPoint, I have a PowerPoint table. You see the table tools tab up in the ribbon. If I just cut that table and control alt V on my keyboard, first off, this is the paste special dialog box. If you've never been here, this is where you can paste as a PNG, a JPEG, a GIF. So it gives you a bunch of different picture options, but the super cool thing for charts and tables are these enhanced meta file and window meta file formats. If I paste as one of those, notice I now no longer have a table. I have a picture tools format tab at the top, but a meta file like this can be control shift G once, Control shift G a second time to break it down into shapes, lines, and text boxes, which is how you can quickly pull your information out of a table to build something like this. So this is that same exact information. I've added some visual icons here on the left, which I highly recommend. These are all just individual rectangles, which makes all of this a lot easier to format. Now there's a bunch more you could do here, but for now, that is your first humdinger PowerPoint shortcut, the paste special shortcut, control alt V on your keyboard. Humdinger number two, you have the regroup shortcut and almost nobody knows this. Control shift J will reform a group. And let me just quickly show you how this works. So here in the normal view, I have this keyboard, which is really just a group of objects that I've created to make this keyboard like effect. Well, let's say that I want to format certain pieces of this group and I want to just kind of click and drag to easily select them. So I can first just control shift G to ungroup all the objects. Let's say that I'm going to select my arrows, the shift key, the enter key, and the backspace key. I'll then use some quick keyboard shortcuts that I cover in some of my PowerPoint speed training courses. I've formatted them and now I want to reform the group. Well, instead of clicking and dragging to select everything with the regroup shortcut, I can just select one object that used to be in that part of the group, control shift J, and the group immediately reforms. All right. I call this the easy grab, control shift G again to ungroup. I call this the easy grab in my speed training courses because I will sometimes just group and control shift G to ungroup something so that I can move things around, etc. format them, select an object, control shift J and grab everything even if it's hidden behind something else so that's what i call the easy grab that is the regroup shortcut control shift j and that is humdinger number two Humdinger number three, you have the outline view shortcut control shift tab, which works really well if you're building lots of PowerPoint templates. And again, I'll show you how this works in the normal view. So here in the normal view, if this is the template I'm filling out, instead of just clicking around in the normal view as you might, you can hit control shift tab. Just watch the left side of my screen. Control shift tab is going to pop open the outline view. So control shift tab once will open it. Control shift tab will close it again. And notice that the notes pane opens every time you do that. I will show you how to fix that in a second. But first for the outline view, control shift tab, this will show you all the different content placed is filled in you can see that i have not done this correctly but for this specific template that i have here i could type my title one control enter title two control enter title three you can see that here in the outline view content control tab content i can flip between all the content placeholders fill in my template control shift tab will close it back out that's why i say that control shift tab is a great keyboard shortcut a little humdinger if you're using lots of templates there at the office. All right. So that's humdinger number three, the outline view shortcut. For humdinger number four, we have the notes view shortcut, which is control shift H on your keyboard. So I'm going to come back to the normal view. So remember I said, here is the notes view, All right, You can see I open and close it. Well, notice if I close it every time I control shift tab, the notes pane control shift tab opens and stays open. Well, control shift H hit it once. It'll close, hit it a second time, it's going to open up. So you can see there's my presentation notes. Keep eye contact, be friendly, and don't forget to smile throughout. That's a big 
key uh, for looking really friendly in your presentation. But you can just control shift H will open and close that notes pane. If you're using the control shift tab shortcut, which I just showed you, you can also use this control shift H will close it out. You can see how you can start to walk around your entire environment once you start to get your keyboard shortcuts down. So that's humdinger number four, the notes view shortcut, control shift H. For humdinger number five, we have the slide master jump, which is kind of a hidden shortcut because it's shift key plus the normal view at the bottom of your screen. If I just go to a screenshot, this is the shift key of what a normal environment looks like and it's this normal view command at the bottom of your screen. That's how you pull off a slide master jump, and let me just show you what I mean. So here in the normal view, if I click the normal view normally, it just kind of opens and closes. It will shift through the normal views, which we just kind of talked about. I'll control shift H to clock my notes pane. Well, if I hold the shift key and hit the normal view, I will jump to the slide master view, which is where you can mess around with your content container abuse. You can set up your slide master, all that jazz. If I click the normal view again, I'm gonna go right back to the normal view. So that is the slide master jump you just hold the shift key hit the normal view you'll jump to the slide master not a lot of people know that that's one of many little hidden keyboard shortcuts you can use and I will put a link to my video uh, where I show you a couple other hidden shortcuts using those commands at the bottom of your screen but this is just the slide master jump for now which is the shift key plus this normal view command at the bottom of your screen so that's humdinger number five and again if you've learned a new shortcut or two already let me know with a little friendly thumbs up here on YouTube Humdinger number six, you have the hyperlink shortcut, which is control K. And this is how you start to create a non-linear presentation where you would click something on one slide, jump to another slide, click something else and jump somewhere else. This is also how you get pop-up text effect. And I will show you quickly how to do that. So if I come into my presentation, let's say that I want to either add a hyperlink, you can select text, or let's say that I want to just select the shape itself and add a hyperlink. So I just select the shape. I'll hit control K to launch the hyperlink dialog box. I'm not gonna get too far into this here, but let's say that I want a hyperlink from slide 27 here on the left, and let's go back to slide 25. I would just select slide 25. All right, that's all I need to do. Here's how you do the pop-up text effect, which I'll cover in one of my other videos if you wanna check that out. I'll just click OK. Nothing will have appeared to have happened, but if I shift F5 for a presentation mode from the single slide, notice my mouse cursor is an arrow. Well, notice what happens if I come over to the F4, which is where I set that hyperlink. I click the hyperlink. I'm gonna jump back in my presentation to that slide, which would then let me to advance. And if I added other hyperlinks on the slide, I could then start to jump around all right, even if I was like four slides deep, I could jump to this. I could then jump maybe to another presentation. You can jump to a file. You can then jump to another slide back within your presentation. So these could all be slides. These could be documents. This is how you start to create this kind of windy, non-linear path in PowerPoint. People use this to mock up products and all that jazz. It's also how you create that pop-up text effect. And I'll put a link to a video where I show how to do that in the upper right-hand corner. So that's humdinger number six. Not a lot of people know about it. That is the hyperlink shortcut. And one last thing on these hyperlink shortcuts in the normal view. If you want to get rid of them, you just right click. I know someone will ask me this. You just select remove hyperlink. It's that simple. So again, that's humdinger number six, the hyperlink shortcut control K, which brings us to humdinger number seven, the create sections shortcut, which is great for organizing. All right, your presentation. And I think this is a PowerPoint 2010 and later shortcut. So if you have PowerPoint 2007, you might be out of luck. So here in the normal view, again, if I want to create a section, now, first off, I don't recommend clicking into the normal view. I recommend first clicking your slide here on the left, then hit the control left carrot, which will create that section for you without jumping you to the end of your slide. So here you can rename the section. Let's say that this is Taylor's section that he needs to do. And the cool thing about naming sections like this is one, you can open and close these. But the other cool thing is, let's say that I just wanna print this section for myself. I control P to print. I come and open up all slides. You can see my sections are down below, which will print just my section. So this is a great way to organize your slides for a team. All you need to do, again, I will control left carrot here on the normal or here in the slide pane view over here, right click, rename. That is an awesome, awesome way to organize up your slides. And you can do that really quickly, PowerPoint again, 2010 and later with the control left carrot shortcut, which brings us to my favorite shortcut, your presenter's life raft keyboard shortcut, which is simply F1. F1 is the secret to unlocking 32 different shortcuts here in presentation view. If I hit it, 
boom, I get all of my different shortcuts. I don't even have to memorize these. And the ones I recommend learning the most are PIE. So get your piece of pie the next time that you're presenting. And let me just show you what that looks like. So let's say this is the slide I want to present. And I'm just holding the control key and clicking with my mouse to get that laser pointer. That's another quick little presenter shortcut. But let's say I want to present this and I want to ink all over this. and I don't remember my shortcuts. I hit F1. Boom, the presenter's life raft pops open. All your laser pointers that I recommend learning are PIE for pie. Here's how it works. So let's say that I'm going through this. I hit control P on my keyboard. I want to cross this out. Nope, nope, check. This was the main reason. You can change your ink just down below. Let's say I want to draw a little cloud. So I'm able to write on my slide, bring my audience eye to what I'm looking at as I go through. So that's control P for the pie. Control I of the pie will drop onto your highlighter. This will allow you to just highlight things as you go through things. You can check things. You can fill things in in a blank column chart like this. You can again change your ink. Now, cool little trick here. Let's say our company colors are purple and I put my text on a black backdrop like this. I can just kind of highlight over this to fill it in over 100%. Maybe this is our new campaign, etc. Now, if I hit escape to leave presentation mode, you can keep the ink. All right. These just become normal PowerPoint objects that you can do a bunch of different stuff with, which is a topic for another day. Last little point. So that's PIE. So let's first pen. If you're penning around on your slide, you hit E for erase. It'll erase the ink that you just added. Now, the other ink, like all this ink right here, is not being removed because I just a second ago said to keep it. That Speed Demons is your presenter's life raft keyboard shortcut. It's just F1. And the secret to unlocking 32 shortcuts as long as you use it in slide show mode. That is what everybody forgets. So those are your eight humdinger shortcuts to help you crush it and explode your productivity. Again, shortcuts are the fastest way that I know of to double your productivity in PowerPoint. So I hope you use them. If you're looking for other PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour, including the shortcut cheat sheet of the 80 best shortcuts, just look for the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts of Bold Speed Training, and I will see you at happy hour.